NBC's Claudio Lavanga is in Vatican City. Claudio, what do we know about what happened at that meeting this morning? And can you explain to the viewers who don't know why this is so rare? Well, Alex, as far as meetings go, it doesn't get more historic than this one. As soon as we saw the two popes together, we knew that this was a one of a kind. They were both dressed in white, of course. The only difference being with Pope Francis was uh, wearing a little sash and a little cape there. Uh, pope Benedict XVI, the emeritus, of course, uh, walked to the helipad in his walking cane, looking very frail, waiting for the Pope Francis to arrive in his white helicopter. And they embraced in a long embrace that was one of the first moving moments of this historic meeting because after that they went into the summer residence went to the pri into the private chapel to pray together and pope benedict 16 offered to pope francis the stool that is reserved is reserved for popes to pray in front of the altar and pope francis said no we are brothers and we're gonna and we are going to pray together and so they did they kneeled together on the same stool in a very symbolic uh, moment of course so then they went into the library and pope francis gave pope benedict 16 a small icon of uh, our lady of humility and he said well the first person i thought of when i saw this icon was you well of course again expressing and extending his gratitude for the eight years of his papacy and they went on into a very informal uh, lunch and then he flew back uh, uh, to uh, the Vatican with the same helicopter. Well, I must say, to the great disappointment of the hundreds of people that gathered in Castel Gandolfo, hoping for the Pope or the Popes together to appear on that balcony, Alex. Yes, but nonetheless, what a day and what pictures you are able to bring us. Thank you so much, NBC's Claudia Lavanga from Vatican City.